Turbulent Displace. That sounds fun, right? So let's try a little Turbulent Displace. So again, we're in this blurry layout, and we're going to put on the Turbulent Displace into there. And let's see what actually what actually it means to turbulently displace. Okay. Displacement, we've got a choice of turbulent. Oh wow. So it doesn't look like it's adding anything here. So basically, what will happen? Is I can't put this onto the. I and mean, I could put it on this. I could choose which layer I wanted it on, right? Uh, one of the things I'm kind of interested in is. Like, would it work better? That's the thing that's like, does it work better on uh, like this layer, maybe? So let's look at. So, in a way, it's kind of useful, right? Because we've got this period here where stuff's going to happen. So this, so like, let's see what happens if we did something to it in the beginning section, right? And that way I, c I can choose which layer I want to put it on. Hmm, I like that. Okay, so we're going to put displacement turbulent. Ooh. Uh, I like that. That is awesome. Okay, okay. Hmm, I wonder what happens if it goes. So that gives you a much cooler effect, right, than we were having before. Right, turbulent displays then is really cool. Who knew, right? And we know that the camera blur ends here. So here we're going to have it at like a thousand, right? So now if we look at our animation, we can see what happens. Oh, no. Sorry, I didn't do that right. Got a little bit too excited there. Right, zero here. And here is going to be a thousand. So now that gives gives the donut animation way more interest, right? Way more interest. Interesting. So let's try um, one of the other ones. Let's try maybe Twist. This is a super powerful one. I think in Distort, you always find really cool stuff, right? Okay. Okay, so we're going to go to our blurry text. If I could just grab it, please. Oh, come on, you know I clicked it. All right, so we got our t uh, so we got our cool stuff on there. Now we're going to try something with the blurry text. Let's try a twist with this one. Okay, so we kn we've established right because that keyframe is there. I sort of see why the point of having these keyframes are, but yeah, I'm going to go for a twist here. Uh, what we're gonna do? I think it might be. It might make more sense, right? We'll put the tw we'll put the twists. We'll just put them both here, right? And now we can say, let's add this to like a thousand. Uh, it's not actually doing anything to the text layer, though. Should it be doing something to the text? Or does it only do stuff to graphics? That's what I'm wondering. That is the only that is the only thing I'm not sure about. It doesn't look like it's doing anything. We can we can check because we can do turbulent, right? Oh wait a minute. You know, do you have to select do you have to choose what did I do on this layer? I did both. Okay. So if you do a mount but you don't so displacement is actually activate, right? That's what I'm that's what I'm getting from that. 
Um, but did I put keyframes on both of them? Just wondering. No, I only put the keyframe. Yeah, I think that's because it's activate. You just put it at the beginning, of like, or like where you want it. So, for instance, this is the turbulence displace on my text layer. So all I would need to do is, yeah, I would add the displacement there. No, it's not doing it though. Maybe you just can't put it in there. You can't actually just put it into this. You can't put it into a text. And it is in the text layer. You know, it should be in the text layer, right? Hmm. I'm not sure you get the option to do that. If I'm being completely honest. I think you can only do it with the graphics. Like if I wanted to apply a text effect, is there like text effects? I don't think so, right? Like how do I morph the text? That's what I'm wondering. Uh, it could also be that I haven't got the text selected. Oh no, it's just this. Duh. Right. Always have the. I always forget the uh, the operation the the uh, thing there. But anyway. Okay, so that's how that works. Anyway. So now we should see. Let's have a look. See how that looks. Uh, that doesn't look great. <laughs> Let's go back to, uh, where do you go, buddy? Donut. All right, so I'll turn in this place here. The first thing I want to do is, do you actually need to select the displacement layer? Let me just check. Obviously, this is going too far, right? Let's just do 50 here. Now it's working. This is what I would hope for, right? Yeah. All right. So that's actually a really good result. A little bit fast, obviously. Um, but that is actually like, uh, wow. Wow. Actually, I've actually achieved something quite interesting looking project there. Um, so, thanks for watching.